Valentine's night turned into a wild affair. The winter onslaught simply went up a notch. I've lived here all my life and I've never seen such amazing scenes as this snowing with the froth. Uh, it's exhilarating. I just had to come down and, and experience it. It's, uh, but we're all quite safe, as you say. We're keeping an eye on everyone, keeping a distance. But within this spectacle that stretched across Britain, more lives were lost. In central London, falling debris from a building in Hoborn hit a car, killing a woman inside. Beyond the coast, out in the English Channel, a freak wave crashed through the window of the Marco Polo cruise ship and killed an 85-year-old passenger. Take your time, no rush. At Milford-on-Sea in Hampshire, an entire restaurant had to be rescued. Rocks picked up by the sea were hurled through the windows. The wind was just smashing against the windows. And it almost, to, to look at it, it almost looked like the windows were bending. And then all of a sudden, the outside of the windows just started smashing. There was glass everywhere. It just it wasn't safe for anyone. You know, there was glass being thrown everywhere. It was bad. I mean, it's, it's weather like I've never seen before. And I touch wood, I mean, I never hope I see it again. A dinner out quickly turned into a rescue operation. Fantastic support from the military uh, to, to use their vehicles because clearly none of our vehicles would have been high enough in terms of uh, wheel access to um, get across the water. Well, one fire truck has been damaged and this has happened through uh, flying stones coming off the beach and I understand that the uh, military truck's windscreen has been smashed as well. Severe flood alerts remain along huge stretches of the south coast, yet more streets and homes have flooded. And planes struggle to land, while transport networks have again been hit. On Boscombe Pier, it felt like we were being attacked. The forecasters tell us there will be a break in all this weather on Sunday. It will be dry and sunny. It doesn't seem that easy to believe. But until then, Britain simply has to hold on tight. Tom Parmenter, Sky News, Bournemouth.